New Minnesota Fighting Vikings safety Xavier Woods was a bit of an afterthought during the Vikings' free agent frenzy this offseason. Patrick Peterson, Diesel Dalvin Tomlinson, Mac Alexander got all the headlines, but the fifth-year former Cowboy is a bit of a wild card and could make a big impact in the rebuilt and revamped and souped-up Zimmer Hellfire defense as they look to get back in order. And his $1.75 million salary with $500,000 in unlikely-to-be-earned incentives is a hell of a deal as he looks to replace Anthony Harris, who signed with the Eagles after playing on the franchise tag last year. Worth every single penny of that $11.441 million. Not that I'm bitter, but yeah. And you look back when the Vikings had a pass rush and a stable secondary. You saw how effective Anthony Harris was 2018-2019. Should have been a pro bowler, was ranked in the top three by PFF both years, and was the number one safety in 2019. Xavier Woods, a.k.a. the Forest, because you can't see him through the trees. Woo! Does have a major opportunity this year in purple. Background, 25 years young. 5'11", 212, former 2017 six-round pick out of Louisiana Tech. He had a career 14 interceptions, 18 passes broken up, six forced fumbles for the Bulldogs. Fun fact, new Vikings defensive back coach Carl Scott was actually his safeties coach in 2015. Chemistry. And he was a three-year starter for the Cowboys, playing a mix of box, slot, and free safety. He loved the versatility. Has a career 247 tackles, five interceptions, 18 passes broken up. Career high in PFF grade was 73 in 2019. He's solid in man coverage and is great at tracking and attacking the ball and is decent in run support as well. And after watching a decent amount of Woods tape, I think that he can be the bargain of the Frasian class, not just of the Vikings, but of the league in general. Now, I, I know the Greg Rosenthal that said that maybe he could be a Pro Bowler. I don't. I wouldn't go that far. But could he be an absolute stud? Could he rack up five interceptions back there and just be a force on the back end of the defense, like we saw peak Anthony Harris, peak Andrew Sandejo, opposite of Harrison Smith? Yes. Absolutely, we could. I mean, last year with the Cowboys and Mike Nolan, it was a disaster all the way around, and I blame the scheme more than the players. And I think Woods' versatile skill set with Harrison Smith and company will make a dynamic duo back there. Plus, if you want to get rookie Cameron Bynum more involved, Woods is flexible enough to play in the slot in big nickel or operate with Bynum on the field and Harrison as a de facto linebacker where he could play single high, he could play split, he could play cover three, he can do whatever you want him to do. So I'm super bullish on 23, a.k.a. Xavier, not Rhodes Woods. And with Harrison in the box and a solid pass rush and the cornerbacks, uh, another year older, another year wiser, plus Patrick Peterson in the mix, I think that Woods easily could reach the heights that Anthony Harris did in 2018, 2019, perhaps even farther, per perhaps even further this year. And then we'll have to franchise tag him and then he'll just be garbage next year. But would be a good problem to have this year as this defense gets back on track. The offense is good to go. The offensive line, all of a sudden, too soon it's only june but whatever but xavier Rhodes, super fired up let us know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes must worth that work post on the Venmo. but until next time skull production value